video in umpteen years. I'm a wreck and a mess right now. <coughs> I got a cough last night. <coughs> Was up all night. <sighs> no glamour going on right now with these sunglasses. <sighs> Taking care of an aging parent. Ain't no joke. <clears throat> I didn't think I would have to do it this young. My mom is 65. That's young. And I'm so exhausted. Since December, I brought her from Memphis to Atlanta. And... Uh, it's been something. Someone said to me, if I had my mom again, it would be an absolute privilege to take care of her again. You do everything in your power to, to take care of your mother. You just have to. That's true. I'm supposed to be doing it to take care of my mom. She's got an apartment. I put furniture in there for her. Straightening it out, running to the doctor's appointments. She had a stroke. <clears throat> and I found out she had two. They were mild but they affected her left side. <sighs> Who takes care of the caregiver? Especially being an only child like I am. And I'm just exhausted. Maybe I'm just having a pity party right now. Um, I go up and down. I was pissed at first because I had to do it. There's no one else to do it. It's my mama. So, <clears throat> I'm doing it, of course. But um, the more and more I discover what's going on with her, it is not her fault, of course. It's nobody's fault if you have a stroke. But if you're going through what I'm going through, <coughs> everything that should be happening would happen. Whatever you need to get through, you'll get through it. <coughs> and I have to tell myself that. Because honestly, it's really the truth. I've just been running since December. And it's now March. And she had her first primary care appointment <clears throat> last night. So I left work early. And I told them every single thing that was wrong with her. And that I, what I wanted them to get her records for and review them and all that. So they're going to put in a request for records from Memphis <coughs> so that uh, we can look and see what's, what happened to her and what's going on but um, I never make videos like this I y'all see my channel I mean but I just needed to say that to whoever is going through what I'm going through Don't make it about you. <clears throat> that's that's all I can say. Don't make it about you. Because if you make it about you, you'll be crying all day. And I was crying. I've been crying. Uh, I called my girlfriend when my mom was having some sort of episode. <clears throat> Excuse me. She couldn't remember where she was. 
And that freaked me out. So, my girlfriend, she walked me through that. She was like, <clears throat> she's still asleep and she's not familiar with her surroundings, which is true. Because her apartment is not, it's not a home yet. It doesn't have everything in it <coughs> that you or I have, like pictures and faces and flowers and things that make a home a home. And so I'm working on that. And that's another thing. You just have to make them as comfortable as they possibly can be as you can make them. Um, give them a decent quality of life. And I've been doing that for all be a long time for my mother anyway. But when she got sick, I had to go and get her and so I could have her closer to me. Now I really want to make sure she has a great quality of life. But uh, <clears throat> my friend, she said her husband said to her, you ever been somewhere in a hotel? Well, you ever been somewhere and you woke up and you didn't know where you were? <coughs> like even in your own bed. <coughs> Excuse me. Even in your own bed. You know how you wake up and you're like, is this Saturday or do I need to get up and get dressed for work? But it ends up being Saturday. <clears throat> she said her husband thinks that was, that's, that was the case with my mom. I said, yeah, but that was real extreme. But I equated to that because she eventually came around and she <clears throat> eventually knew where she was. But it scared the crap out of me because she had no memory and it made me cry because <clears throat> I felt like you're being robbed you're still in there you're st your memory's affected so I was like wow so anyway this is going on too long but again I just need to share that with somebody who possibly is going through the same thing um I don't know how many people are doing that. Well, a lot of people are doing that. But <coughs> but maybe not any that are watching me because I don't really do videos anymore. Um, I had planned on doing other things business-wise and working on my product and all this kind of thing. But I needed to make this video because um, I'm taking her to her eye appointment now. And I just started feeling horrible. Like... What about me? But it's not about you. It's not about me. <clears throat> it's about her. It's about her. Period. So, um, eventually things will get better and I will get through it. And so will you. It's just hard. It is hard. It's your mama. 